I'm about to show you one of my absolute favorite InDesign time savers ever. You're probably familiar with the place command to bring in text and images. I can go to my file menu and drag down to place, or use the shortcut command D like dog. And I can navigate to a text file that I want to bring into InDesign. So let me zoom out so we can see the whole page when I do this. So I select my file and I click open and I get my loaded cursor. You're probably familiar with that too. And you're probably familiar with click holding and dragging to create a text frame. But what happens when you have overset? And let's say I've never seen this before. Now this is just placeholder text, but I really have no idea how many pages I'm going to need and how many frames I'm going to need to hold the text on those pages. The great thing is I don't need to. Uh, I'm going to thread this text frame and create a new one simply by clicking here on the out port with my selection tool. And I get my loaded cursor and I'm ready to thread. And I could do this the same way that I created the first text frame by click holding and dragging and repeating the process. That's going to take me a lot of time. Now, if I hold down my option key, I can click where I want the top of the frame to be, and InDesign will draw a second frame and thread it. So if I go to my view menu here, and I drag down to extras, and then show text threads, when I go back to the page, and I'm just gonna hold down my command key on the Mac, control on the PC to toggle to my selection tool, and when I click this frame, you can see that it's now threaded to the second one. So by holding down Option, I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to step back, backwards. By holding down Option, I don't have to change my tools. I can just Option click, Option click. And again, when I select the threaded frames, you can see uh, between them that there is a thread. And the text will flow between them. Well, that's good, but it's not good enough. I'm going to undo. And instead of holding down Option, I'm going to hold down my Option and Shift keys, um, or on the PC, Alt and Shift. So if I uh, were working on the PC, instead of Option clicking, I would Alt click in that previous step. Now I'm going to Option Shift or Alt Shift click. And what that's going to do is it's not only going to draw one frame, but it's going to draw enough frames to fill my page. So that seems pretty cool. So with one Option or Alt Shift click, I drew and I threaded three text frames. Well, wait, there's more because it's even better. I'm going to undo again. And instead of using either of those previous shortcuts, what I'm going to do is hold down my Shift key. And I'm going to click where I want the top of the second frame to be. And what InDesign will do is it will draw the top there and it will draw the bottom and the sides along my margin and column guides. You may have noticed that. But what this will do, so just hold down my shift key and with my loaded cursor, if I shift click, it's not only going to draw the frames and thread them, but if you look over here in my pages panel, it's also added enough pages to hold all of that text. So let me undo that because I'm going to quickly do it again. So you notice when I undid, all of the pages disappeared. And I'm back to where I started from. I've got one single text frame. And actually, let me go all the way back. I have overset in it. So with my selection tool, my black arrow, I'm going to click on the plus, the out port that shows me that there's overset. And I'm going to hold down my shift key and click. And I now have threaded text frames across 12 pages that hold all of this text, which is now flowing. So in a matter of seconds, actually let's time me. Okay, go back, start, and ready? One, two, three, four, four seconds. I added 12 pages, actually I added 11 pages because there was one to start and I threaded three text frames per page to fill all the pages with the text that I wanted to place. That probably saved me a good 
depending on how fast you are, I would say at least 15 minutes. Okay. Really, it's one of my favorite time savers in InDesign, and it'll really boost your productivity.